Very fast and easy how to screen record all that you are doing in your Samsung Galaxy A54. Maybe you're in WhatsApp, maybe WhatsApp is not going to be able to do, but you're on a call or video call and you want to record that call. Maybe that's going to be able or not. I don't know, but you could have to try it. How to do a record of all what you're doing in your phone. Swipe down, swipe down move to the right and here is the option called screen recorder and here you're going to go start recording and in this moment there is a recording of your screen and there are lots of options like use a pencil here in the screen so a lot of things that you can do and then stop the recording and if you go to your gallery go to the gallery you can see here is the recording that's fast and easy like 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 subscribe to the channel and thank you a lot remember that you have to activate the recording sound too if you want the recording from the phone or the recording to be from the microphone too like 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 thank you fast and easy how to add emergency contacts on the Samsung Galaxy A54 and what is this when someone gets your phone and you're in an emergency maybe they, they don't know how to enter the phone but they can enter emergency call and if you have put emergency calls contacts if they press this option they're going to see those contacts in this list how to add those contacts to this list very easy let's go in our phone remember to subscribe to the channel and comment and go to settings and now you're going to go to safety and emergency and select emergency contacts add number let's say these numbers must be in your contacts list let's say we add name one done we can save more numbers and now we can go out the phone block the phone and emergency in half passing they select emergency call select the dialer and here in the top is the phone so they can call someone as as emergency call and notify that you have been in an emergency like 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 comment and subscribe to the channel very fast and easy how to hide the caller id on your samsung Fa galaxy a54 with the caller id when you make a call if you don't want that the other person know which is the phone number from what it's being called the other person is going to see privacy if you want that to happen you're going to go here to the telephone options and you must be here in keypad not in reason not in contacts you have to be in keypad now you're going to go to the three dots that are here in the top go to settings and you're going to go down 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 here to supplementary services and then you're going to select the first option called show your caller id this may work in all almost all the phone providers but maybe in another not so you select this option and by default it's in network default if you put never this is the option where when you call someone that person will not know that who is calling it's gonna appear like private phone but the downside of that is that many people today do not uh, pick up calls of someone that you don't know who is like 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 subscribe to the channel and thank you very fast and easy how to use the three buttons that are in the bottom of the samsung galaxy a54 these are called the hairster navigation buttons first of all you have to do this arrow that's looking like to the left is the back button what that means i'm going to give you an example if i go here maybe to the galaxy app if I go back, it's going to go back to the, uh, to the thing I was looking after. And if I use the center button, the center button is the home button. It's always going to take out everything. No matter where I am, it's going to only go to home page. And if you use these three bars buttons, it's going to show you all the apps you have in the bottom, in the back of your phone. Here you're going to find all the apps with one you will be working with and if you want to close all these apps you can go here and close all i close them all so if i go again to this button you can see that there are no apps in the phone in the background so fast and easy the center is the home button 
the right button is the back button and this is your previous apps open subscribe to the channel like 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 and very thank yous if you want to do a hard reset with your galaxy a54 it's very easy the first you want to do is to connect your data cable to a computer or it's not gonna work you connect the data cable and now you're gonna press button of power and volume down this way and this way I'm going to do it and when the phone turns off you're going to change your finger to volume to up volume up and now release power button if you don't do it in this sequence you're not going to be able to enter the reboot system and now in the reboot system in the Android recovery menu you're going to move down with the volume button enter white data factor reset and with the power button you're gonna press and you're gonna go down and press power button and that's easy all you have to do and then on when you see this in the bottom part you can reboot system now and that's all you have to do subscribe to the channel if you like the video you can give me some bucks in my paypal account find it in the description and subscribe to the channel and like very fast and easy how to enable more fingers for your fingerprint lock screen in your Samsung Galaxy A54 in this moment I only have this only finger to disactivate the phone but in the case I, I want to have more fingers all you have to do is the second thing first subscribe to the channel and comment settings and then you're not gonna go to lock screen you must move and enter the security and privacy option in this option you're gonna go down go to biometrics and here where you see fingerprints one fingerprint added you're gonna enter this option unlock the phone with your pin or the way you have it and then here is the option where you can find add fingerprint I have one fingerprint with this this finger and now let's add the second one let's go to register and this use this pinky let's register the pinky or oh, I don't know how this is called this finger in English in this way you can add more fingers to unlock your phone maybe you have that finger uh, wet or maybe you lose that finger I don't know <laughs> but you must use different fingers and that's the way you can unlock your phone when you have a finger a problem with the finger okay that's all that's go done let's block and unlock with the new finger like 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 and subscribe to the channel very fast and easy how to disactivate or change 5g networks on your phone why would you do that i'm going to show you in an example why you should change your mobile a data connections now you're gonna go you enter settings and now you're gonna enter the option of connections and now you're gonna go to mobile networks here in this case this is a double sim phone the samsung galaxy a54 and for example we're working only only with sim one by default this phone is 5g lte is 4g 3g and 2g what's gonna happen maybe if you're in a place where there are a lot of phones that are 5g it could be that the network is too 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 much people and not working good so you're gonna pass to 4g and if you're a place where there's a lot a lot of phones a lot of a lot of phones remember there are little phones or little people that high fi have 5g so you upgrade your phone to 5g and that's gonna work better but if you're a place that's very very far away maybe there's no 5g there are no 4g so you can downgrade to 3g and maybe get access to your calls so it all depends when you're having problems with communications try to change the networks and it will give you a boost like subscribe and comment thank you fast and easy how to set up the alarm on the samsung galaxy a54 and, and you're not gonna believe it but if you search for the app you go search clock and you're not gonna find it it's not installed in your phone so first of all you have to download so you're gonna go to the galaxy store and you're gonna find or type clock samsung in this i don't know why it shows in spanish reloft samsung electronic and you're gonna install the app and that's what you have to do in first instance in this next video and i'm gonna show you how to set it but it's very important that you first must 
install ah oh, here it's installed let's open it allow and now all you have to do is press the mass the plus select the time select the hours 8 8 o'clock p.m. and very important in this option you're gonna select if it's one if you want to be a, a weekly alarm you must select Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday and here you can select the sound alarm sound vibration and how it must have smooth snooze how many times and only go and go and save that's all you have to do it's very easy but very important you have to install the clock app or you're not gonna have a way to have alarms on your Samsung Galaxy A54. Remember to subscribe, subscribe, like, 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 and thank you. Fast and easy how to enter the safe mode on a Samsung Galaxy A54. Very easy. All you have to do, first of all, you're gonna subscribe to the channel and then you're gonna try, try here, here, try to turn off. So you press the turn off button and now you're not gonna press power off. You're gonna leave your finger pressed to power off. You leave your finger finger press and then you have the option of safe mode and that's gonna make your phone go in reboot and enter look what is safe mode let's wait a moment and i'll show you that we're gonna enter in safe mode and here we are phone is starting and you can see in the bottom we are in the safe mode if you want to exit safe mode all you have to do is restart the phone and remember that when you restart the phone the phone when it's in safe mode is going to enter in airplane mode so when you restart the phone you have to manually exit airplane phone so all i have to do is restart the phone and when the phone restarts it's going to be normal again subscribe to the channel like 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 and comment why are you going to enter safe mode very fast and easy how to add custom notification sounds on the Samsung Galaxy A54. Very important to know that if you want to add a custom notification sound, you must have that sound in your phone. When what, are that, what am I talking about? You're going to go to settings, then you're going to find the sound option, sounds and vibration. And when you go here to notification sounds, this is all the sounds that come with your phone. But if you want a custom one, you have to download it. If you download it and you enter here your files, this app you can see the files then you go to downloads here is a sound that i downloaded let's hear it if you want to use this as a notification what you're going to do is press the sound copy the sound go back go to internal storage here this is an option that says essentials but you're going to give it all then you're going to go to notifications and copy here it's copied in the notification uh, files now you go to settings again go to sounds and vibration go again to notification sounds and here you're gonna find that sound here it is and now you can use it as a notification sound that's how you can use any sound a custom sound on the samsung galaxy a54 subscribe to the channel like 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 and thank you